Welcome to the College of the Desert Probation Strategies Workshop. The topics that we are going to explore today are assessing your current status, review of probation policies, discussion of effective strategies, academic renewal policy, and your plan of action. These are some of the reasons students find themselves on probation. Do any of these look familiar to you? Poor organizational skills, time management issues, work scheduling issues, money problems, difficulties in personal relationships, taking classes you are not prepared for, too many extracurricular activities, lack of motivation, unexpected obligations, or other priorities. Take a moment to think about what may have affected your academic success. There are two different types of probation, academic and progress probation. Academic probation is when a student attempts 12 or more units and their GPA falls below a 2.0. Progress probation is when a student attempts 12 or more units and has earned a grade of F, FW, W, I, and or NP in 50% or more of all units completed. You can be placed on both academic and progress probation simultaneously. Refer to the most current catalog for more details. Being on probation is a serious matter and there are major consequences associated with probation status. You will lose priority registration, which means you will be in the last group to register for classes. Your transfer opportunities will be affected, as the grades on your transcript are a part of your permanent record. You may become ineligible for financial aid, as you are not making satisfactory progress. And being on probation could lead to disqualification, and as a result, you will be suspended from the college. The good news is, you can get off probation. Here's how. You will be removed from probation once your grade point average or GPA improves to a 2.0 or higher and or when your completion rate rises above 50%. Both conditions must be met during fall or spring semester for full removal from probation. Students on probation should submit a progress report to the Counseling Center and see a counselor every semester until your grade point average is 2.0 and your cumulative completion rate rises above 50%. What is disqualification and how can it affect you? There are two kinds of disqualification, academic disqualification and progress disqualification. At this time, you will not be affected by disqualification. However, continuing on your current path can have serious consequences. Let's talk about academic disqualification first. A student is placed on academic disqualification after being on probation three consecutive semesters where their semester and cumulative grade point average is below 2.0. If a student finds themselves in this situation, the student will be required to sit out a minimum of one semester. After the student sits out for a semester, the student will need to submit a written request to be reinstated in order to begin to take classes again. Now let's take a look at progress disqualification. A student is placed on progress disqualification after three consecutive semesters where their cumulative and semester completion rate is below 51%. If a student finds themselves in this situation, the student will re be required to sit out a minimum of one semester. Again, at this time, you do not need to worry about disqualification but you do want to be sure you begin to move your grade point average, your GPA, and or your progress 
in a positive direction. What are some effective strategies for success in college? Repeating courses for which you've received a grade below C. Beating the C trap by striving to achieve A's and B's. Withdrawing from courses. This strategy can be risky if you are also on or close to being on progress probation. Be sure to meet with your counselor prior to withdrawing from any course. Goal setting. Having well-defined goals helps you stay focused and creates an environment adding to the likelihood of maintaining good standing. Time management. Developing strong time management techniques helps you stay on task and complete work on time. Did you know that when you receive a grade of D, F, FW, NP, NC, or W, the first time you take a course, you are automatically allowed to take that course again. The grade you receive for the repeated course then replaces the first grade, and previous grades are disregarded. A second repeat may be allowed if you receive a grade of D, F, N, P, N, C, or W when you repeated a course the first time, but only under special circumstances. Those circumstances might include an illness or an accident beyond your control. To seek permission to repeat a class for a second time, you must complete the online form Petition for Exception to Policy. Documentation of the special circumstance is required and must accompany the petition. The online form Petition for Exception to Policy is located on the MyCOD portal under the link A and R forms. Please see a counselor if you require additional information. Refer to the most recent college catalog for more details. A C is a passing grade, and if your GPA or grade point average is below 2.0, it will move you closer to a 2.0 grade point average, but it will never take your grade point average over a 2.0. Also, it's important to remember that you cannot repeat courses in which you receive a C grade. So starting right now, set a goal to achieve an A or B, not only in the courses you repeat, but in all your courses. Beat the C trap. If you're struggling in a course or have unexpected life circumstances that are preventing you from being successful in a class, withdrawing from a class might seem like the best solution. But wait, before you drop the class, be sure you're making the best choice. Do you know a W takes up one of the two repeats allowed to pass a course? That a W can put you on progress probation and a W can affect your financial aid eligibility. Before you drop a class, discuss your situation with your instructor, an advisor, a counselor, or all of them. They can help you think through all the consequences of dropping the class so you can make an informed decision. You also want to be aware of all the important deadlines each semester. You can find these important deadlines on page one of the class schedule. Once you decide to drop a class, it is your responsibility to do so. You must do this through your WebAdvisor account. Your attitude plays a large part in your success. Having a positive attitude will take you far. Don't dwell on your past mistakes. Learn from them and move on. Life events can certainly get in the way of your studies. Understanding your priorities and acting on them will help you stay on the right track. It's okay to say no. Keep your priorities in line. Your friends and family will understand that you cannot make it every 
your friends and family will understand that you cannot make it to every event that you are invited to attend. Let them know that you are serious about college. In order to begin to repair your transcripts, retake classes that you were not successful in and achieve A's and B's. This will help boost your grade point average quickly. Make sure to reach out to your instructors to understand their expectations and consult with your counselor. Avoid unnecessary surprises. There's no substitute for preparation. College of the Desert offers many resources to help you succeed. Tutoring at the Academic Skills Center is available in person and online for free. Take up tutoring early and consistently. Be proactive about your academic success and sign up for additional lab hours. Create study groups with your classmates. The more you practice, the better you will understand the course material. Don't wait until it feels like an emergency. Start planning ahead and you will be on the road to improving your study skills. It won't happen overnight, but the sooner you start, the better off you will be. Setting your goals is extremely important, and it will help you stay focused. You also need to determine where most of your time is spent. Having the right strategy for time management can make life so much easier on you. It will help you become more effective and productive in all areas of your life. Think about your day and figure out where you spend most of your time. Spending time is like spending money. The more you have, the more you can get done, and the less stressed you will be. Being able to self-manage is key and will help you avoid procrastination. Use a daily planner to help you stay organized and stay on top of all your deadlines. Smartphones have electronic calendaring systems. However, the hard copy planners are just as effective. When you take time to set your priorities, you're more likely to reach your goals and reach them faster. Goal setting takes time, energy, thought, and preparation. A goal should have an action statement, an action plan, and a target date or deadline. Go ahead, try creating a goal for yourself. Excellent time management is a valuable skill. It will help you in every aspect of your life. It is also a valued skill for employment. For more information, consult with your counselor. The golden rule is that for each unit you take, plan to study two hours outside of class. For example, if you are taking 12 units, you should plan to study 24 hours a week. That means your total commitment to school is 36 hours per week. What are your priorities? That is only a question you can answer. Write down a list of what needs to be done and then rank them from high to low priority. If you start working on high priorities first, you will avoid procrastinating. Speaking of procrastination, have you ever waited to the last minute to finish an assignment or study for an exam? Did it result in the success you were hoping for? If not, consider these benefits of time management. Cuts down on stress to avoid crisis mode increases productivity and efficiency and gives you a greater opportunity to achieve the results that you want. In addition to these things, it will also increase your self-esteem and allow you more free time to enjoy your life. The good news is, once you raise your grades, you may qualify for academic renewal. Academic renewal is an opportunity to remove D's, F's, and FW's from your transcript. Please see a counselor for additional information. So now what? What's your plan of action? You have learned some useful tools to assist you to become a successful student. 
it's time to make your plan of action to become a successful student. Do you have a student education plan, an SEP? Make sure you follow up with a counselor to create or update your student educational plan or SEP. You want to make sure you have planned out the courses you will need to reach your educational goals. Sign up for free tutoring. Visit the tutoring center that is most convenient for you. Check for hours of operation. Attend study skills workshops to assist you with your study habits. Apply time management techniques to your study skills and review your progress regularly with your instructor and counselor. We are here to help you. Reach out to your advisor, instructors, and counselors. Don't be afraid to ask for assistance. Your success is a top priority. We're all in this together, but your success is ultimately up to you. Now that you have completed the workshop, you must complete the probation strategies quiz in order to have your registration priority restored for the coming semester. You must score eight out of 10 points and have two attempts. You have two attempts to complete the quiz.